Glasgow Cathedral is a parish church of the Church of Scotland in Glasgow, Scotland. It is the oldest cathedral in mainland Scotland and oldest building in Glasgow. The cathedral is dedicated to Saint Mungo, the patron saint of Glasgow, whose tomb lies at the center of the building's lower church. The first stone cathedral was dedicated in 1136. Fragments of this building have been found beneath the structure of the present cathedral, which was dedicated in 1197. Although much of the present cathedral dates from a major rebuilding in the 13th century. Following its foundation in 1451, the University of Glasgow held its first classes within the cathedral's chapter house. Glasgow Cathedral has been crown property since 1587. The entire cathedral building passed into the care of the state in 1857 and today it is the responsibility of Historic Environment Scotland. The history of Glasgow Cathedral is closely linked with that of the city. In the 6th century, St. Mungo is said to have brought the body of a holy man, Fergus, for burial at a site named Cathurius, which came to be known as Glasgow. St. Mungo built a monastic cell in the burial ground and was buried in his church there in 614. The shrine in Lower Church of Glasgow Cathedral was an important place of pilgrimage in the medieval period. Excavations at Glasgow Cathedrals between 1988 and 1997 uncovered architectural fragments of the first stone cathedral beneath the floor of present cathedral. Glasgow Cathedral has one of the finest post-war collections of stained glass windows in Britain. It is one of the few Scottish medieval churches to have survived the Reformation. Glasgow Cathedral is truly magnificent, full of beauty and wonder. The reforming mobs in the years after 1560 were no less zealous in Glasgow than anywhere else in the country. But the affection of ordinary people of Glasgow for their cathedral was such that the organized trades of the city took up arms to protect it. Perhaps what saved Glasgow Cathedral more than anything else was simply the size of the city's population. When the crisis arose, enough collective sanity remained to allow the defenders to outnumber the attackers. Had Glasgow Cathedral fallen in the Reformation, a thousand years of history would have been lost. During St. Mungo's time, the church was visited by St. Columba, and St. Mungo himself traveled widely, preaching in both Cumbria and North Wales, and going on pilgrimage to Rome. The site on which cathedral was built slopes down from west to east. This allowed the buildings of its most unique feature a lower church effectively occupying the whole of the area under the choir. At East End there are series of chapels. These chapels were particularly well used after 1451 when the Pope declared that a pilgrimage to Glasgow Cathedral would carry the same merit as one to Rome.
If you are coming to Glasgow, you really should add the cathedral to your must-see list.